The finalization of the 26 Rafale Marine deal for Indian Navy has been deferred until May 2024, and will take place after India's upcoming general elections to avoid any political interference. The Indian government has extended a generous offer to the Philippines, providing seven Druf helicopters to the Philippine Coast Guard. A high-level delegation led by Thailand Defence Minister was briefed about the latest developments of BrahMos weapon complex at BrahMos Pavilion on the inaugural day of Defence Security 2023, and he showed keen interest in the BrahMos missile. India has sent an emergency aid package comprising medical equipment and relief materials for people affected by the earthquake in Nepal. Indian Army has announced that its Spear Corps have successfully fired the new generation rocket and turret ammunition from Rudu attack helicopter. The crest of Indian Navy's latest warship INS Shirat guided missile destroyer will be unveiled today, which is the fourth and the last ship built under Project 15B. The armies of India US and Myanmar will hold joint military exercises at India's Amroy Joint Training Node from end of November till December 2023. The DRDO has hit a snag in its efforts to secure Cabinet Committee on Security approval for the AMCA program, casting a cloud of uncertainty over the project's timeline. The CCS clearance has been pending for the last six months, which would release $1.8 billion for the development of prototypes and pre-production AMCA aircraft. According to sources, the Ministry of Defence is waiting for the conclusion of an agreement between DRDO and Safran to develop a 110kN engine for the AMCA in the coming months. After the CCS clearance, it will take at least 36 months to roll out the first prototype, and it will require an additional year before it completes its first flight, so if CCS clearance is granted by mid-2024, the rollout of the prototype will happen in mid-2027 and first flight by late 2028, that will also delay the induction timeline. Philippines Air Force aims to procure 12 new combat aircraft, and one of the key requirements is their ability to carry an advanced air-launched anti-ship missile. HAL has conveyed to Philippine authorities, that India will start developmental trials of the BrahMos NG cruise missile in 2024, and the 290 km range BrahMos NG missile will become operable on the Tejas Mark 1A within the next five years, that will offer the Philippines an unprecedented advantage in terms of speed range and precision. After clearing significant numbers of 500 km range Prale short-range tactical ballistic missiles, India is looking at the option of inducting highly mobile medium-range ballistic missiles for use in conventional roles in its upcoming Indian rocket force, which can target up to 1,500 km range in conventional roles. These medium-range ballistic missiles might be a Agni series missile with conventional warhead, or it could be 1,500 km range BrahMos variant that was reported to be under development in 2020. According to a media report, the slow progress of the Tappers program and delays in the Archer NG program have cast doubt on the ability of aeronautical development establishment to gain support for the HAIL program that was proposed earlier this year, and interestingly, its specifications aligns closely with those of the 31MQ9B that India is procuring from the US. It is unlikely that the HAIL program will gather enthusiasm until the Archer NG program demonstrates substantial progress, and the issues with the Tappers program are addressed. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is gearing up to outsource the entire rare frame of its Indian multi-role helicopter program to private sector companies, and three private sector firms with prior experience have expressed their interest in the program. A ground test vehicle and a crash testing airframe will be built for extensive testing, before the commencement of three prototypes for rigorous developmental trials. Today's Top 3 Comments
Oh, Mark, drop it.